God. I wanted to just get up on here quickly and encourage you today. Let me tell you what God said. God said that they sh you should have much tribulation in this world. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because you are not of this world. But David encouraged himself. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. There are times that you're going to have to encourage yourself. There are times you're going to have to pray by yourself. That's going to time you have to fast by yourself. But God said in this hour, he will be with you. He said he'll be with you. Come on, somebody. He will not forsake you. He will not leave you. I feel the oppression and suppression of a lot of people, especially during these pagan holidays. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So in the name of Jesus right now, I cut in half and I reduce it to nothing. I know every spirit of loneliness, depression, oppression, suppression in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, hallelujah. I annul it and I terminate that thing to the root of that thing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You shall live and not die in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. In this pagan season, what they do is they, they spew out witches, um, spells and hexes and vexes and everything. That's why people are trying to commit suicide, murder, and everything. How you gonna steal to buy somebody a gift? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. All kind of things are going on in this season. But God said the power of God is still real. You gotta start speaking that thing. Death on life and the power of the tongue and those that love it should eat the fruit thereof. God says you gotta be strong in this hour like never before. You gonna have to read like never before. You gonna have to stay from the TV and the social media. I'm just being real with you. You guys see me on here. I get on and I get off. I do not spend my life on social media. I, I, I can't afford to. I'm too annoyed to do that. Come on somebody, hallelujah. I gotta be in my secret place praying and fasting, praying and fasting, praying, reading and fasting. Come on somebody, hallelujah. This stuff is real. This is not entertainment. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. So in this season, God needs you praying like for each other like never before. Not praying on each other. P-R-E-Y. Come on somebody, hallelujah. And in this, in this season, Watch who you're connected to. Because if people are not building you up and they're tearing you down, they need to go. I don't care if it's family, friends, or whatever. I said it like I said it. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because if you're not, if they're not building you up, then they are sent by the enemy. Let me tell you something. And I've learned this and I'm still learning this. Everybody that you love can't go with you. Oh, I know y'all don't like it. Everybody that you like can't go with you. I'm just saying something. Because here's the deal. Are they strong enough to stand with you? Are they strong enough to pray with you and gird you? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all don't understand. That's how people are getting killed. By their husbands or their wives. Or these children are getting killed. By the parents. Let me tell you what's happening. They did not count the cost. Come on, somebody. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. You got to make sure that God ordained that thing. I'm going to say it again. You got to make sure that that is God ordained. Even a relationship, a friendship. If that's not God ordained, it will bring you turmoil and trouble that God did not assign to your life. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You better get out your little feelings. You better get out your little emotions. You better ask God, God, did you send them or did the devil send them? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I say that over and over again so they get in your spirit. Every Somebody, God, is this from you or is this from him? Because if it's from you, then I receive it, the good and the bad, the flaws and the whatever. But if it's from the devil, you got to go. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Bye. Hallelujah. Skiss, scatty. <laughs> I didn't made up a word. That's all I want to do. Try to get up on here to encourage you. This stuff is real. This stuff is real. You have to really be strong in the Lord in these days. Too many people, too many people not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And you're looking for help in all the wrong places. God said, I'm your help. I'll keep you. I'll show you. I'll gird you. I'll anoint you. I'll appoint you. But are you going to be obedient? You, you got to obey once God says something. Because some of y'all be like, well, I don't know if that was God. You know as God. Trust me. You know. You know. Because God is never going to send something to hurt you. God is going to never send something that, that, that kind of take you off balance. Come on, somebody. You heard what I just said. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. And I'm telling you how I live. I love everybody. I need you to know that. I love everybody. But if I see you become a problem in my life in any area, friendship or whatever, I promise you I'm going to start looking at you sideways. And then I'm cut, cut. I will cut you off. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. And think nothing of it. And I still love you. I still love you. I just ain't fooling with you. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Y'all think this is a game? Y'all better count the cost. Especially if you have an anointing. Especially if you have an assignment. You're trying to go somewhere. So the enemy trying to send distractions. Hallelujah. And most of the time, you don't even know it's a distraction until it's finished distracting you. God will never send anything or anyone to take you off the course of your assignment. I just said something. Hallelujah. 
check that. God say, check that. God say, check that at the door. Too many of you let stuff slide that wasn't supposed to get past the door. You're supposed to check that at the door. I don't care who it is. Hallelujah. Y'all let too much stuff slide past you. You're supposed to, when you are anointed as a child of God, you are like a radar. I'm talking about you like the matrix up in here. You like Neo, whatever. You don't let nothing get past you. Come on, somebody. Oh, hallelujah. So I just want to encourage you. Pray for your family. And, and stop being, how could I say this? Stop being self-centered. It's not always about you. Everybody going through stuff. Everybody got issues, truth be told. Pray for each other, not pray on each other. Be strong in the Lord. Start praying. Well, get off this Facebook, man. Get off this Facebook and start getting on your face. Y'all want to know why it's crazy out there? Because the Christians are not doing their job. They're too busy running after Kanye. Yeah, I said it. We're supposed to be in a secret place. Oh, come on, somebody. Let's talk about that secret place. God says, what you do in secret, I reward you in public. I can go scripture. You ain't supposed to be all in the public doing whatever you're doing. Hallelujah. All right, all right. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.